Yeah. I've got a question for you. Mm -hmm. you. Do you like a hug? Is that an offer? No, it's <laughs> certainly not. Because that would well, not be it's appropriate. not allowed in the pandemic, but pre-pandemic, pre where you want to kind of go up and give someone a cuddle? When it's appropriate, not necessarily in the workplace. <laughs> what are you going no, with No, no, not in the workplace. Well, question? because um, we have speculated quite a lot on this programme, actually, about how important kind of hugs are, how, how, how much people are missing touch, you know, during all of this. Um, and yes. human contact is so important. And so we've been looking at it. Our uh, reporter in Aberdeen, India Grant, has been finding out why it's so important. Covid can affect our ability to smell and taste, but another sense which has been affected in the pandemic is touch. Keeping our distance reduces the spread of Covid-19, and with the exception of family members and, as of last week, relatives in care homes, hugs have not been permitted. So, how important is touch? I asked an expert. It's been called social glue. It's uh, stuff that connects us to other people, bonds us to, to other people. It's sort of the, the first sense that we learn as babies, um, make sense of our world through, through touch. When we receive touch or when we, when we give a certain kind of touch, then it, uh, it communicates um, that we're, we're close to someone, we're connected, that, we, um, that we're trusted or that we're, we're trusting. And if you maybe live alone, you can't touch someone, hug someone, what kind of things can you do? We can self-soothe, we, we can do that, that sort of stuff with um, like a head massager or feathers, um, or we, we can wear clothes that feel nice. So we know that touch is really important for our mental health, but I wanted to see if people here on Aberdeen Beach on this beautiful day are looking forward to a hug. We're lucky because we live together so we can hug okay. all the time, but, but normally, no, yeah. I feel like a hug just solves everything. Yeah, of course. It's like, it's so affectionate. Of course I have. Uh, for me, hugging is like, I don't know, it's, it's a, an important part of how I show affection. Oh, yeah. yeah, one of the main things, really. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're used to doing a lot of hugging. We, we do, we do. <laughs> for a year, we've kept people at arm's length. But is there a reason why touch is so important to us? Uh, well, our hands are specially designed and evolved to touch and explore the world. It's one of our distinguishing features as humans in that we, uh, uh, we use our hands uh, very, very well. We're very dexterous. And the hand has the highest density of uh, touch-sensitive neurons uh, in the body. And uh, you can discriminate, you can actually resolve little things down to half a millimetre across. Limited touch is now allowed in care homes with masks and gloves. With the vaccine rollout continuing, the hope is that the hugs we knew before will eventually come back. India Grant, BBC News. It's interesting that, isn't it? Really and, interesting. And, and Mr. I don't like hugs, there you go. Well, look, we've got this thing, Judith, Judith, Judith Smith, she's, she's got one as well. Look, we've got these I massager think you go things. Put, put it like on but the back. Do you know, I, it reminds me of, because I, I have a rod my oh, own back that? in making pancakes oh, for Sunday morning. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is my whisk. Judith, <laughs> <My whisk. laughs> <laughs> that's definitely it's, not what it's It's not a whisk. So it's for, so for your head? Yeah, you yeah. just kind of put on, it down like and it's the, supposed uh, to... Mess your head up. Well, it's right. quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe like on your, your arms and stuff, yeah. My arms. My hips. James has messed up his hair now, so that's Yeah, well, it was a mess anyway. It's been a mess for weeks and months.